In this video we will cover the configuration and operation of the 10 Easy Maximum Average Manager, or MAM for short. When a 10 Easy device is connected to Smart 8.2 or later, the Maximum Average Manager Options panel is enabled in the SPL Config tab. If the Options panel is not enabled, check to be sure that the 10 Easy device is enabled in IO Config. The Maximum Average Manager is a predictive algorithm designed to help live sound engineers keep the output of a sound system within a prescribed limit. That limit is specified in terms of equivalent sound level over a defined period of time, or what is better known as LEQ. Setup is simple and requires only three pieces of information. 1. The LEQ limit, in decibels, that you wish to stay below. 2. The LEQ period in minutes. And 3. The frequency weighting curve that you want to use for the LEQ. The available options are, none, A weighted, and C weighted. Once you have decided these values, open the configuration panel by navigating to config, then select SPL config. You can also use the shortcut keys, Control, Shift, and the letter E. There is one other handy shortcut, clicking in the center of the upper right hand SPL readout. That will open the SPL config menu directly. Now, check the box for Display MAM. You will notice, that the Manager window is not necessarily displayed. You will also need to select the Show Meters option at the top left. I will also select the Always on Top option at this time, so that you can see both dialog boxes. While it is not necessary to have other SPL meters configured to see the Maximum Average Manager, Many operators find it convenient to configure it two or three other SPL meters, and use them to monitor the 10 Easy microphone with other weightings and response times. For this demonstration, I will configure three meters, in a three wide by one tall grid, each with a different SPL weighting and response time. As you can see, the MAM has automatically positioned itself along the bottom of the configured block of meters. To adjust the size and scale of the maximum average manager, Close the Configurator dialog box, then click and drag on the corner to adjust the size of the MAM window to fit your needs. Now I will configure the three SPL meters I have created, so that we can see what is happening instantaneously, and compare it to the MAM. While the Configurator dialog is open, you will not be able to use the controls in the metering window. However, you can change the weightings from the Configurator, and they will be immediately applied. Now I am ready to input my MAM settings. For this demonstration, I will call the venue the Rational Lab, set my limit to 66 dB, my weighting to A, and my LEQ period to 1 minute. Each setting takes effect immediately after entering the data and pressing Enter, or when you click or tab out of the field. Now before we demonstrate how the manager works, let's review the graphical parts of the Maximum Average Manager. If you are familiar with the Maximum Average Manager display as implemented in 10 Easy's bundled software application, the display in Smart works identically. At the top center, you can see the venue name listed. To the right of the venue name, is the friendly name of the 10 Easy device that is feeding data to the MAM. If you have multiple 10 Easy devices, clicking the drop down arrow will allow you to select the device you wish to monitor with the MAM. Note that if you shrink the MAM window below the point where there is room for all the information, the venue name moves to the right corner, replacing the input name. You would then need to expand the window in order to see both the venue name, and the 10 easy input that is selected. The large number in the center of the display is the current LEQ reading of the Maximum Average Manager. Below the current LEQ reading, the LEQ integration period and level limit that we set in the configurator are shown. Directly below the LEQ period and limit text, but above the large colored bar of squares, is a very thin line that moves from left to right and changes color. This line indicates the current state of the LEQ integration buffer for the maximum average manager. As the buffer fills up, it will be yellow in color, and work its way across the bottom like a progress bar. When the buffer is full, it will stretch from left to right, and turn green. This bar will also help to indicate to the operator when settings or commands have reset the LEQ buffer for the MAM. Directly below the LEQ buffer indicator, is the big, LED style, metering bar that is at the core of the MAM. 
This bar shows you how much headroom you have at current sound levels. Specifically, it estimates what the fully integrated, MAMLEQ level will be, if the current sound levels continue. Each segment on the bar represents 1 dB at the current LEQ integration time. Green segments to the left of center indicate how much louder the sound level could be, without exceeding your limit. Red segments to the right of center predict that the target level will be exceeded. It shows how many dB the current level would need to be reduced, to achieve the specified limit level. For example, if three red squares are lit up, the maximum average manager is predicting that a reduction of 3 dB, needs to happen within the current LEQ period, in order to get the LEQ under the limit. If all of the red segments are filled, it indicates that a minimum of 6 dB of level reduction, needs to be made to come back into limit compliance. But, because adjustments outside of a 6 dB window are not graphically indicated, the level may actually need to be reduced more than 6 dB to meet the limit. In general, this display is most meaningful after about 30 seconds at representative sound levels. Note, that the LEQ target LED meter, may be misleading during breaks between songs or other pauses in the audio program. Let's take a look at a practical example of how this works. We will utilize Smart's pink noise generator, running through a speaker, being measured by the 10 Easy microphone. Throughout this example, be sure to notice the differences between the various fast, slow, and LEQ meters as the MAM LED bar changes. We will set our MAM LEQ limit to 66, and our integration time is set to 1 minute, A weighted. One tip when choosing an LEQ limit value, is that the system considers the value you have entered to be in violation. In other words, a limit of 66 dB means, that only LEQ readings of 65.9 dB or less, are considered to be under the limit. Readings that are 66 dB and above, will be considered in violation. If we set the output of the generator so that the A weighted SPL reading is between 64 and 65, you can see that the bottom LED bar, will gradually move towards having one segment lit. Now that things are stable, let's increase the generator output by 3 dB, and see what happens. You'll notice that two red segments on the maximum average manager will gradually engage, indicating that the MAM LEQ is expected to end up 2 dB above the LEQ limit. A yellow warning flag will show in the maximum average manager display, warning the engineer that the LEQ limit is on track to be violated. Once the maximum average manager LEQ value exceeds the set limit, the MAM display will turn red, indicating that a limit violation has occurred. Because the maximum average manager is an LEQ measurement, an instant adjustment will not necessarily clear the violation. This is especially true if the LEQ period is longer than 1 or 2 minutes. As a result, when they are in violation, engineers should use the LED bar graph at the bottom of the maximum average manager, as an indicator guide on if the adjustments they make are putting them on track to be under the LEQ limit. One other tip for interpreting the LED bar graph, is that it is not a countdown or a rate of change indicator. It is an indicator of the predicted LEQ value based on the current sound level. This is important, because the number of colored blocks that are shown, are based on the MAM LEQ limit settings that we configured, not on the current LEQ value of the maximum average manager. For example, with our limit set at 66 dB, two red blocks on the maximum average manager, indicate a predicted LEQ value of 68 dB. However, the current maximum average manager LEQ value could be more than 2 dB different than 68. At that same moment, it is likely that a standard SPL meter, on a fast or slow response time, will show a current reading very close to 68 dB. These different views of the SPL environment, are one reason that having multiple types of SPL meters active at the same time, can be very useful while using the maximum average manager. The practical application here is that if the LEQ is set to a longer integration time like 5 or 10 minutes, the sound engineer should be able to make non-dramatic adjustments, and quickly get visual feedback on if the changes made are expected to bring them into compliance. This is particularly valuable in situations where there is a legal SPL limit to be complied with. One additional important note, is that enabling the maximum average manager, does not automatically enable logging to a file. That has to be started independently. That feature is covered in a separate video. In conclusion, 
Smart 8.2 allows den easy owners to take advantage of the power of the maximum average manager from directly inside the smart interface. For additional information about Smart or Tenizi's class compliant SPL measurement systems, please check the user guide or visit us at rationalacoustics.com/support.